So today, from questions from before, we've been asked, you know, what are different types of crises that a business might face, and how do these manifest themselves? Okay, I'm going to answer this question in two ways. The first one is I look at there being three types of crisis. A crisis that requires a first aid kit, a crisis that requires a fire escape kit, and crisis that requires a hurricane plan. These rate from something that is mildly impacting upon our brand, i.e. perhaps an issue more than a crisis, through to something that is damaging to the brand but may not have impacted health or life, through to something that has impacted health, life or well-being of a crisis. But let's look at it from a slightly different perspective. Let's look at the types of crises that exist and can emerge. Typical crises are usually from operational, i.e. their production, their health and safety, their product based. So it is an issue with a product that went wrong, an issue with a process that went wrong, or something that has impacted on people's health and safety. These are the more common crises that you see, and these are the crises that are more likely to impact you as a business. But let's go a little bit deeper. A second type or second source of crisis can actually be cybersecurity. So this may be hacking, this may be something that has happened with respect to your IT and your information. It may be leakage of confidential uh, client or customer data. Often happens if we think about scenarios with, say, Facebook over the last couple of years where this is quite a common scenario. Another cause or type of crisis relates to HR. This means staffing who screwed it up. It might be a bad day. It may be a, an intentional incident that a staff member has done to sabotage the brand, or it may be something that is leaked online regarding the behavior of a staff member. But crises can come from staff and they can come from within the teams themselves. We then have financial, legal and political sources of crises. So financial is when a company cannot meet its obligations and that's having an impact upon uh, clients. A great example today is the recent closure of Honest Bee in Malaysia and the news is filtering out the last couple of days that the, the company has closed but owing some of its uh, vendors a significant amount of money. This is going to, depending on the size of the vendor, have an impact for them. It may lead to a crisis scenario. It certainly is going to be a crisis for those involved in Honest B as they try to wrap, wrap everything up and complete the company. From a legal perspective, you may, as a business, have done something that is uh, not only unethical, but has contravened the laws. For example, employed child labor, maybe a, a situation of sexual harassment within the workplace environment, or perhaps something like illegal dumping. We're seeing a lot of news about that at the moment. That in itself is a crisis, but for the businesses that are involved and the businesses that get caught, that's going to lead to a different type of crisis for them. And finally, there is political. You know, we live in a world where political changes are happening every day. Whilst we hope that policy is going to be consistent, at any moment any government can do a U-turn and that U-turn can affect the viability of your business or even the legality of your business. So for that, to me, those are the six core causes of crisis and we just have to look at whether they fit on the lesser end of the scale where we consider something an issue or whether they move through to impact either your physical health, your mental well-being or life and death itself.